Hey everyone, this is your 5-Minute Daily Devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5 and Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11. They read as follows. Therefore, judge nothing before the appointed time. Wait until the Lord comes. He has made everything beautiful in its time. So, I love nails. I love nails. <laughs> I love nails. I love the colors and the designs. I love the pamper and getting them done. I love doing them myself. I love the entire process. I love looking down at them throughout the week and just looking at them and smiling because they're so pretty. I just love nails. One of my favorite types of nails is dip polish. Dip polish is where you put on this base coat on your nail and you dip your nail in this colored powder. And honestly, it's kind of a process. It's not just sort of painting your nails and going. There's multiple steps to the dip nail process. It's kind of a little bit labor intensive. If I'm honest, the process itself is not actually that pretty. I mean, it looks like you just kind of took this color and just kind of matted it on your nail. The color is all off and the shape is all off. It looks like they're just sort of clumps of shape colored powder on your nail. The process itself just kind of makes you question as you go through it. Oh, is this going to look good? This looks kind of off. But when you put that final coat on, that final gel coat to seal the deal, to seal the whole thing of that manicure, that thing is absolutely beautiful. You at the end see that the process was completely worth it because of the output. You see the process was totally worth it. And I mean, not only is it beautiful and it's just shiny and gorgeous, but it lasts. Dip powder manicures, they can last two to three weeks, maybe more, while regular manicures can last a few days, maybe a week. When all is said and done, you realize the output was totally worth the process. I think you know where I'm going with this. There are a lot of seasons in life where you just sort of look around and you're kind of thinking, this doesn't look right. This doesn't feel right. This doesn't look the way I thought it was going to look or seem the way I thought it was going to seem. And it almost seems as if God has this sort of file and he is filing and buffing and polishing and shaping and but it's not a nail, it's you. And honestly, when you go through that, that feels horrible. It doesn't actually feel very good. We read in the Bible actually multiple scriptures about God's purification process, about his refining process, about his trying in the fire process. And the thing is, a lot of times the process takes a bit. It takes a lot longer than what we thought it would take. There's a lot more involved than what we thought it would be. And we just don't quite see how is this going to turn into that. But oh friends, when we finally get that breakthrough, when we finally get that blessing and we see the end result, we see what we have been waiting for, we actually get the prize, we get the blessing, there is nothing else like it. It makes the process oh so worth it. And not only that, it lasts. When God does that thing it's yours. It's yours completely. It's almost as if he's telling you the giants you see today, you will never see again. Friends, don't get discouraged in the process. And I apologize for using nails as my metaphor, but that's my language. So I, there, it is. <laughs> there it is. But seriously, don't get discouraged in the process. A lot of times when we are going through things and it feels as though God is holding things back from us, he's not doing that because he wants us to suffer and just to wait for wait's sake. But no, he's doing it because he's preparing the thing and he's preparing us so that when we get that thing, we're ready for it. We're a blessing to it. It blesses us. It's just right, just when we need it. I'm going to be real with you. It's going to take time. It's going to be a process. It is. And I have been through this numerous times, <laughs> numerous times where I waited and waited and waited for the Lord. Sometimes years I have waited for God's promises to manifest in my life. But when they did, I can tell you that Isaiah 40 scripture that I love so much became so real to me. I felt as though my strength was renewed. I could soar on the wings of eagles. I could run and not grow weary. I could walk and not be faint. Don't decide a matter before the end. Wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord to come because he has this absolutely incredible way of making things beautiful at just the right time. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that 
always, God. You know what you're doing in our lives, God. You're not having us wait, God, or having us suffer, God, or having us be uncomfortable just for uncomfortableness sake, Lord. No, you love us, Lord, and you want the very best for us, and you know the way in which we need to get that very very best blessing, Lord. And sometimes that is a process, Lord. Sometimes it doesn't look good while we're going through the middle. Sometimes, Lord, it will take more time than we thought. But we thank you, God, that when it happens, Lord, oh, Lord, you open doors that no man can shut and that thing will bless our socks off, God. I pray for my brothers and sisters. I pray that you would encourage them and help them to keep going, not give up, not grow weary, God. For in due season, we will reap if we faint not, God, and to trust you in the process, God. You are good and we love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys. You guys have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.